Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, uh, for today's video, I wanted to do more of a kind of like chill sketching session and I wanted to do it in Clip Studio Paint. Now I'm going to apologize that I'm going to keep changing the angle for a little bit of the camera just because I actually switched the layout of my desk, but I didn't really like it, so I reverted back because it was very hard for me to film comfortably. So I will definitely change the layout several times throughout the video. Um, but for Clip Studio Paint, I wanted to just sketch with the, I believe it's the right Boru pen, which is like a, just a ball pe ballpoint pen. And also my camera stopped recording, so um, I missed part of the sketching portion of this. And we're drawing Scaramouche today, or The Wanderer because, I don't know, I, I'm really excited for him. I don't think I'm gonna be summoning for him, at least like upon release. I'm probably gonna wait until he gets a rerun or something, but I kind of wanted to take a closer look at his design. And usually when I'm drawing like a character that is a little bit more unfamiliar for myself, I like to do usually some kind of like knee up um, kind of sketching session of the character. And I really take my time doing this and then Later on, I will kind of fill up the rest of the spread or the page or the canvas that I'm using with the same character so I can kind of get used to them. Um, but for it, like, hmm, to be honest, when I was working on drawing him, I'm going to be interchanging Scaramouche and the Wanderer probably. Probably calling him Scaramouche for the majority of the video, so sorry if it confuses anybody. He is from Genshin Impact and he basically got like a bit of a redesign. And if you guys know like the lore of Genshin for this character, you probably know why he kind of got a redesign. So, mm. uh, today, no color, just one brush and I'm just gonna work on sketching him. I'm trying my best to look at the reference, which is just the official art that they posted um, during the drip marketing for his character release for the next patch. And yeah, because there is maintenance in Genshin, I decided that I wanted to just sketch during that time, though um, I was kind of sketching kind of like on and off, which is probably why I liked the first sketch the most, probably because I spent the most time on it, but also I had the most energy going in, but throughout the day I kind of lost a lot of energy just because I kept taking breaks from sketchings to do um, a few errands, a little bit of chores and other stuff here and there. And because of that, the other sketches I don't really like as much. I think the third sketch I do like, and I didn't sketch him in a way... I don't know how to explain it. Like, in a way that I like to. I wanted to practice more dynamic poses and stuff. He's a Catalyst user, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, actually. I don't know if he's a Catalyst user still. Um, or like, predicted. Predicted to be a Catalyst user. So, I'm not too sure, but... If he is, great. If he's not, then that's also great. It doesn't really matter. Uh, hmm. For the sketching, I did do a lot more racing this time around. I wasn't really paying attention too much when I was sketching because, like I said, I was kind of going on and off. I tried my best um, to keep things a little bit later in the beginning and then we could darken up things later on, kind of shade things in. I think I made this one a lot more finished looking in terms of like completion compared to the other ones. The other ones, um, I think two of them are more like headshots kind of and then one other one's kind of just a full body but it's kind of like really tiny on the page. Also his hat, <laughs> I don't understand how to draw his hat so in the future, um, maybe in my sketchbook or something or whenever I have time, I want to sketch him a little bit more and look up a few more references of his previous design and stuff so I can take a better look at his hat because that's like one of the things I don't really want to draw for him because it's very intimidating. It has like, I don't know if it's just like the big shape on top of his head, but also like it, if like angled at a certain way, it could cover a lot of his face. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being a chicken for not um, trying to draw him as much. I do want to draw him. I do like him as a character, so I would like to draw him a bit more in the future. But for now, um, kind of experimenting a little bit with his facial expressions and stuff for the next few, except for the second sketch. So yeah, today's just a sketching session in Clip Studio Paint for the most part. I was gonna do it in 
procreate like on the ipad but i decided not to because it has been a while since i've sketched in clip studio paint that was not for like digital painting or anything just like for the sake of just sketching for fun so i wanted to go back and do that also if you see the little tiny square um floating above his hat i wanted to keep a swatch of the color that i was using sometimes i accidentally it's probably like I don't know, yeah, partially it's like an accident, part of it's like habit. I pick up color by clicking the button on the pen and it kind of eye drops whatever color. And sometimes it's not the accurate color and I want to keep the color a little bit more consistent. So basically the Boru pen, actually I'm just going to call it a ballpoint pen because that's basically what it is. Um, it has the brush set to multiply for like its strokes and stuff so after you lift off the pencil and you start to layer usually wherever two places overlap it becomes a lot darker which gives a very similar look to how if a person works with ballpoint pen that's often how it kind of looks and i chose a dark blue kind of color to kind of match that ink kind of look but also because his design is on the blue side now i decided i want it to match just a little bit closer and for the most part, a lot of his darker areas, I did my best to kind of darken up and then near some edges where I think some light would hit, I wanted to leave it a little bit blank because I don't want to make everything look flat if I don't need to. I want to add a little bit of volume. If not, like I'll just go in and add a little bit more shadow so it doesn't read as flat. I'm just realizing now that I made his waist uh, very skinny, like very small probably did that during the sketching phase and I probably didn't notice but that's okay it just makes his uh shoulders look really wide compared to his um waist and his hips I think it's also because I just I think I need to take some time and actually draw more like waist up full body poses and stuff I think during Inktober especially because I was doing like smaller doodles kind of in my sketchbook a lot of the ones that I did were very much just like focusing on the face and not doing very much of the body which like for me I do like drawing the face a lot but I feel like I'm gonna get rusty drawing the body because very much so when I think about it recently I think I've defaulted to certain poses that is very uh easy for me to draw because it's like it almost feels like a habit mm, I'm trying to think of what else I kind of want to do another session like this maybe actually add color and I'll just like edit down it in a way that's a little bit more digestible because as soon as I add color, the video definitely becomes a lot longer and it's a lot more footage. But I, I want to play around with color a little bit more since I've been playing a lot more with um, focusing like online work and all that for Inktober, especially for like the last part. So if you guys watched my Inktober video on Monday, you would have saw what I did for the last few days. And I really like those ones. Um, probably because like I don't usually ink uh, like that too often I tend to make the line work very simple I don't add a lot of value or line weights I feel like but that was something I wanted to kind of push um, near the end because I was feeling very stuck doing Inktober I didn't mention that like in the Inktober video because I probably forgot but I think there was two occasions where I did not do the picture or like the illustration on the day that's supposed to be on technically um, because usually I do the drawings at night and I do it after 12 o'clock. Well, my brain was kind of stupid for one week. I think it's last week that I had a really jam-packed week and I kind of mixed up the days. So I accidentally did one after 12 o'clock thinking it was 11 o'clock still and then I did the other one at 12 again so basically I did two in one day and then another one was just me missing a day because I was too busy so yeah there's two I didn't complete the challenge technically if you think about consistency but yeah th it doesn't really matter it kind of like personalize it um to yourself but I wanted to mention that because I know some people whenever they do like a 30 day challenge or any kind of like drawing challenge right there's always that pressure to do it as is like as it's um kind of like pictured to be like you know you don't have to force yourself to draw for 30 31 days for inktober right you can kind of tailor it to yourself like it's kind of nice to do it for 31 days to see if you can push yourself or um 
if you do want to kind of build up that consistency but like i don't think it's like you know world ending it's not gonna be super detrimental to you so don't put a lot of pressure on yourself on it um for the second sketch of skirmish i decided that i wanted to do like a sitting pose and I actually don't really like this pose that I did. I kind of did it randomly and I'm just realizing I probably didn't finish his fingers either. Um, hmm. I think next time I should probably think of poses that actually better incorporate his hat. So this is like my problem I have with his hat. So I don't really know how to draw it too well in... I don't know how to explain this in a way that it makes it look like it's sitting on his head in a proper angle because if you tilt it down enough then you should be able to see the underside but if you tilt it um the other way you won't still be able to see the backside or like the inside but then it basically covers his face too much or at least that's how i'm drawing it because i don't know if i'm giving his head and his hat enough space from one another which is something I'm probably struggling with because of the the sense of depth that it needs, but also um, the reference of his current, or like of the official released art, doesn't show what's on the top of his hat, so I tried my best to prevent myself from drawing an angle that shows the top of the hat because I actually don't know what it looks like. I don't know if there's like an ornamental um, object in the center. Is there a different pattern surrounding the center part? I know on his old design, I've drawn it before so I've seen it but also people had pictures of his model so it was easy to find a turnaround or an up view of his model at the time. Mm. But because he got a redesign I actually don't know if any of the you know sources and stuff that I find are going to be reliable and it's not like if the sketch or the drawing isn't accurate it's going to be the end of the world it's just because like I don't want to commit something to my memory if it's going to be incorrect and the whole point of me drawing him today is kind of for me to get used to his character design i think i mentioned this earlier but usually if i'm drawing a character that i'm not familiar with like even in my sketchbook or like some other method i will try my best to draw them a little bit so i'm not like blindsided going in um, even like small thumbnails will give me a good idea especially like for female characters or characters with longer hair let's say like even Zhongli, Toma, anyone that has like more flowy objects even if I do like thumbnailing it helps me at least take in consideration objects that maybe would change the composition so like if a person had a cape um, usually I'll try to block that in during the thumbnail but then I also remember like you know so and so has a cape or so and so has really flowy hair or something like that so hmm uh, on to the third sketch. The third sketch I think is one of my favorites. I decided to do a side view. Now, I don't know what his hair looks like. I know it's kind of like bowl cut, kind of bluntly cut, and then he kind of has like um, almost like a mullet type hair at the back, kind of flares out. Very cute, but it's hard for me to draw and imagine without making it look like some weird undercut and i've seen other people draw and it always looks so cute and pretty i just i'm just struggling with it so yeah um for this one and the next sketch i kind of made him look a little bit more like unhinged i know technically I'm, I'm assuming he's mellowed out a little bit more now that he's a little bit more free i don't know is this spoilers oh it's not spoilers you guys should, if you're interested in him you can read it up or something um and the reason why like he has a character design change versus like when we first saw him in the game and stuff but yeah hmm. um i think his hair is kind of fun to draw i know like during my fourth sketch he kind of it might be like just the way i drew the hair framing his face it kind of looked like teen Nutty in the beginning just because he kind of also has choppier hair but his is definitely a longer length compared to uh Scaramouche's hair also i decided to throw in a hand so it looks like he's kind of laughing at you i thought it'd be a little bit more appropriate he's kind of he's kind of a menace to be honest i don't i don't know how he is anymore um until we actually get to meet him again i haven't played the story quite yet oh i didn't talk about this i totally it just like slipped my mind i i did get nahida so for my pull um i was actually like i tried pulling on nilu's banner a little bit uh because i didn't really care if i got pity broken or if i didn't get her technically because it'll just build pity to the next banner but if i did get her then great because 
I kind of wanted her. Um, but because I didn't get her, I had about, I think, 60-ish pulls? 50-ish pulls? Maybe, I think it's 50. I've had 50 pulls on the, on the banner, no guarantee. And then I did two 10 pulls, and then it was a 5-star, but it was Jean. But immediately after getting pity broken by Jean, the next uh, person after that was Nahida. So that was very nice. So mm. I think this is the second time this has happened for me. So I think so. If not, it was the third time. So basically when I summoned Ito a while ago, I believe I got pity broken by Mona, but immediately got Ito after. So you know didn't really waste anything got a two in one kind of thing so it was kind of nice i'm always shocked when people get um like three five star characters of the same character for their pull i've seen a lot of people get like the ones that i have been getting which is like get pity broken and then the next character like the guaranteed character um but yeah i don't know my, my luck for genshin this year has been pretty okay i feel like previous years Terrible, absolutely garbage, but you know, this year's been okay for my gotcha pulls. Mm, mm, let me think. So, for the sketch, I decided that I was gonna like, I don't know which direction I was gonna go with this. I knew I wanted to draw him a little bit more unhinged again, um, and I kind of just focused on his eyes. Now, this is what I meant that it kind of looks like Teen Nutty at this point. I think it's also because the bangs in his face kind of look like his which is why, but I'm just losing my train of thought at this point. I start off with the eyes. I usually never do this. I like having the circle or some kind of guidelines just to make sure to keep things a little bit more proportionate, but I decided to throw in the face without drawing the actual, well, I drew, I drew the facial features without drawing the face. And I don't know, I thought maybe I'll leave it like this, but in the end I do draw in his um, jawline and then his neck and I will throw in the hand. Um, just so that I could draw the rest of his hair kind of framing the rest of his face and then we can plop a hat Kind of like an indication of the hat at the top um, Similar to the third sketch I'm adding a little dark line and then filling it in kind of having that heavy shadow laying on top of his face and across like the bridge of his nose I don't know. I feel like it always gives a more like menacing look or you know that kind of expression that you're kind of pissed so that is what I, this is what I did. I don't know if this sketching session is very interesting. I just wanted to have something for uh, this week because I've been itching the sketch a little bit more like this. I don't think this is what I wanted to do technically. So I might sketch off, like off filming, off recording, off screen, off camera and you know, do another sketching session. I, like I mentioned, I want to do another one maybe with color. Um, maybe I'll do another randomizer with sketching because there's like a lot of characters I think we could do fun poses for and stuff and maybe add in their weapons So that I can kind of take that in consideration because I know I want to draw a lot more bow characters because I always like the look of like archers and stuff I've done a few of Goro with those poses and another character I believe but I want more practice and I kind of want to draw like Venti and Tinnari because I believe they hold their bows differently I think Child also holds his bow differently and Yelan holds their her bow differently so you know I want to take a look and get a little bit of practice of drawing even more dynamic poses or poses with like actual held objects because that's something I don't do too much anymore um so yeah here are the sketches for today hmm. and just for a reminder it's the right uh boru pen and then there's some japanese characters uh, i think it's in katakana like after hiragana something right after so yeah that is what i use for today i'll show you guys a quick overview of the whole thing just so you guys can see the little kind of like knee up version and the two headshots and kind of the the derpy one in the center but yeah uh hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i know it's gonna be a little bit more of a chill like chill sketching session compared to other videos so you know i hope you guys enjoy it regardless and i'll talk to you guys next time bye